Hey, good afternoon. Uh, we're uh, going to show how to install a 24 inch safety net and a uh, 24 inch concrete riser today. Uh, we've made a template up, a template uh, to mark all our holes, which we've, we've uh, just we've already done that. But you can see where we've made a chunk of metal uh, and we've uh, drilled some holes in it just to mark them here. It uh, so we've uh, we've already done that. We'll pull that uh, that template out and set it off to the side, and uh, we're ready to start uh, start drilling. On our drill so we know how far how deep to go it uh, we just got a piece of uh, polyethylene on there uh, setting our drill depth to an inch and inch and an eight we're going to take and blow the holes out now we've just uh, using a uh, battery um, bulb but uh, this is used to add water to a battery I just picked it up this morning at the auto value store downtown okay we got all the dust out of the holes we're gonna add the inserts now Most of them will just push in, but some of them you might have to tap in. The uh, knurled end goes in, you can see it's split. It has a little uh, wedge shape uh, driver in there that will expand that when we uh, get the tool out to, to set them. And they're all in the holes now. I've uh, I've got a uh, I've uh, got a uh, rope onto my driver that's so I don't lose it into the tank. I can retrieve it if I lose it. It uh, uh, this is a nice heavy duty driver. This is what sets uh, uh, the anchor. So we're going to start right here at, uh, and uh, just start setting. It. When you 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 drive uh, drive it in until it hits uh, this stop right here. bolts we've pre-lubricated these uh, using uh, uh, some bull wax that you would use to set a toilet works uh, quite well another thing that we use is wire pull lubricant a lot of times uh, works really good for lubricating that just to make sure the threads don't get galled so just screw those in we'll get them all kind of started by hand and we'll, we'll snug them up with a screwdriver. There, we're ready to install the net now. It uh, didn't have any slip on me at all. It, uh, uh, we got uh, this has uh, quick links. All this hardware is uh, is uh, 316, but we'll just start by adding one of these on there. Now uh, you don't have to remove all these to work on it. But, uh, um, I say three or four is generally enough, depending if you're just removing a float tray or an entire pump. I've uh, I've screwed them uh, t 
together enough so they don't fall off while I'm assembling it, so you don't lose these down into the tank. So I do have to back them off a little bit to get them on, but just a hair, and tighten them back up. You don't have to over tighten them or anything. You want to make sure you can you can take them back off next time you come to service that septic system. Anyway, there there it is. The net's installed. Not a bad idea to check each one of those. I can put a couple hundred pounds of pull on that thing, or at least a hundred pounds. It, uh, check all those, make sure they're not going to pop out. Installed. Complete job. Thank you.